well, it is happening. It's just happening too slowly, and it's not happening in enough governments. And what we're, what we're seeing is that where it does happen, it does make a difference. Um, and the extent of the difference it makes depends on how thoroughly the job is done. And you've seen in the discussions in the last couple of days reference to New Zealand, where it was, it was in fact done very thoroughly, and it has made a significant difference to the, uh, the strength of the New Zealand balance sheet um, and its ability to withstand financial shocks like the economic crisis or indeed like the Christchurch earthquakes. It's a difficult sell in some ways. However, I mean, the, the thing that really ought to appeal to politicians most is that it gives them mechanisms to manage their positions better. And one of the things that politicians don't like is surprises. Well, if you've got a good financial system in place, you'll still get surprises, but you won't get them as often they won't be as nasty as if you don't. So for, for politicians, the benefit really is, is that they have better control over the machinery that they're running. You know, they know how the engine's running. They can project better what's going to happen. They can control better what's going to happen. And so they aren't subject to events in the same way that they would be if they didn't have that control. It's not just that they're not in prison. There's no discussion about whether or not they should even be tried, so to speak. There's no, it, it's almost as if we assume that, well, that's how politicians would behave. And yet I think that's, that's unwise, it's certainly unwise, it's probably unfair. But nevertheless, it leaves us with the question, you know, why hasn't there that been that focus on not only the behaviour of the individual politicians, which I think is, is critical, it's probably, in a private sector, it would be criminal, um, but it, there's, there's also a question of why the media hasn't focused on the accounting and auditing dimensions of the crisis. I mean, like the Enron crisis, it's a crisis that was caused at, at heart by bad accounting, bad auditing. There's no discussion of that. The accounting and auditing does matter. What you measure matters. And if you measure your financial position, your financial performance badly, you'll get bad results. It's a hard question, but I personally think the answer is no, we wouldn't have had it in the way we have had. I, you may well still have had deficit spending to a degree, but if you'd known exactly where you were and if politicians had, had operated within a system where they had to carry the costs of their decisions in the short term, by which I mean ideally within a couple of months of making them, you could see the financial consequences, I think they would have made decisions differently. And those decisions probably would have involved a better balance between tax revenues and expenditures, and that would have avoided the crisis. So I think it, it potentially could have avoided it. It certainly would have lessened it.